What's going on everyone, the Draft Nerd here. If you're new to the channel, I make college basketball slash NBA draft content. So if that interests you, make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. If you cannot tell by the thumbnail title of this video, in today's video, we're talking about Texas Long Home Ford. Dylan Mitchell. So Dylan Mitchell is actually very interesting and he's had quite a bit of downfall since the beginning of the college basketball season and a lot of that has to do with his offensive ability. So in, in today's video I'm kind of going to do a quick draft breakdown. I don't, I'm doing these and you know I do them seldomly but I, I just want to kind of go ahead and build the portfolio but I really want to go and go in depth later into the season when draft season really starts but right now we're just doing basic scouting and so there's so much basketball left. Guys can really change from who they are now to by the time the NBA draft so I don't want to go too hard in the profile, but I do like introducing a lot of the prospects. And this is an interesting one because a lot of people had him going like top 10. And now some people not saying he's not even a top 50 player. So I think the downfall for Dylan Mitchell is actually it's crazy to think about, but I see it. So watching a lot of Texas games uh, just this year, just because I want to see Dylan Mitchell, I'm actually pretty high on Dylan Mitchell, but it's with a big caveat. So with Dylan Mitchell, he just doesn't have any offensive game. He, he sits in the dunker spot. Fine. He does that very well. He's pretty good at cutting to the basket he doesn't really handle the ball he's more of an off ball scorer nothing wrong with that at all there's places for that in the nba however there's just nowhere to put him on offense if that makes any sense he hasn't shown the ability i don't think he's even attempted a three but he hasn't shown the ability to sit in the corner and shoot from there which in with the texas offense that's what he does he sits in the corner and and that's kind of it and cuts to the basket and he sits on either corner. Uh, he doesn't really sit at the wing too much. Uh, he kind of really plays like a pseudo center for them, especially when the small ball lineup. And that's some of his good. But really, just as bad as just he doesn't show any offensive game. And without you know without real ball handling, without the ability to shoot a mid range or just a catch and shoot guy, where does that leave him? Especially considering he's not like a real center. He's just playing like pseudo center. It reminds me a lot of. I don't know if y'all remember Zaire Smith out of Texas. Was it Texas Tech? I'm pretty sure it was Texas Tech, where he was like 6'5". Now, granted, Dylan Mitchell's a 6'8 uh, forward, so it's a little different, but Zaire Smith was like 6'5", playing center, or at least power forward for them. And he was doing really well in college, but he really couldn't shoot. He really couldn't create a shot for himself. And he went to the 76ers high, which the 76ers do not develop talent, so that's another part of it, which that's another. That's going to be another part of Dylan Mitchell. But... It was just weird because he was playing that center position, and I, I'm pretty sure at being 6'5", he was asked to be more of a forward at least, um, and it just it just didn't work out for him with the 76. So I wonder where he is now. Um, with Dylan Mitchell, he plays that pseudo five, and he's good at it. So let's get into his positive. So on defense, I see all the potential in the world. He he, he rotates really fast. He's really good at off ball defense. He's really good at denying someone the ball, especially when they're coming off screens or whatnot. He's super athletic. So if he makes a reaching mistake, he's able to cut. He's able to basically bounce back and regain his balance and be able to defend the ball. Um, and he, he stops dribble penetration, whether he's guarding from the perimeter or he's sitting in the paint when they're in the zone. He is so talented. He's very raw, but he's so talented defensively. He has the build. He has the makeup to really be someone, at least an excellent defender. He just, if he can just learn to shoot a corner shot, we're, we're having him up there, in my opinion. We're having a top 20 player, top 15 player. He, and, I mean, and by corner shot, I mean it hit it efficiently, at least like 36%, and not like 20 or anything like that. Um, but he, he hasn't shown just any desire to even do that. And I don't know if it's because of the Texas, uh, the way the Texas is playing basketball, which is working for them. So, I mean, we see it all the time. College basketball players aren't used the right way, but it's really hard because you're, you know, you pick these players and you kind of got to make it work. Um, it's not like you can just trade or free agency or anything like that. I, I think it, it could be the Texas, the way Texas runs their offense could be how their coach wants it. But I really feel like that if he develops any type of offense again, he can be a really good player. I feel like he's bought in defensively, which that whole Texas team looks bought in defensively, in my opinion. But I feel like he's bought in defensively. I feel as though he can really guard one, maybe one through five. I'm not saying he's like at the NBA level, he's guarding Joel Embiid, but you maybe wouldn't mind him on someone. I can't, I can't think right now. But like even like Zubat, like we see how he dominates smaller uh, centers and whatnot. Uh, and I'm not saying you put Dylan Mitchell at center, but I'm saying that he's able to guard that position. It's not like Zubat has a plethora of post moves. Uh, if, if he, as long as he's not on someone who's like a very post centric, I think he can do a good job literally guarding one through five. And that is just my thing with him is that you see so much talent, so much there defensively, but offensively it's nothing. He needs like the perfect point guard to get him in the spots. He's really good in the fast break. So maybe if you're a running team, it's just, it's just not enough. It's really not enough. And I know it's harder to find players who really want to buy in defensively, but that can be a, that's a, the 
defense to me is like 50 percent effort so in the right situation you can make a guy you know want to play defense um so it's like i see why he's falling down the draft board but it's just so interesting because he's such a talented player in my opinion it's just that offense is so non-existent i wouldn't even say it's bad because it's not like we haven't seen it but it's so non-existent that i just don't know i don't know what's next for him uh, I'm pretty sure he's going to get drafted. There's no way he doesn't get drafted. Uh, just the, the potential is crazy. Uh, so, and we know the NBA draft is all about potential. You know, they'd rather take the 18 year old, 19 year old who shows a lot of potential than the 22 year old, 23 year old who kind of is what he is. So, I'm pretty sure he'll get drafted, but I'm interested to see where and what team, because that's go- like where in the draft order and what team, because that is going to be a huge spot. You got to, it's got to go to a team that wants to help him offensively. Now, I could see maybe a team drafting him like, hey, we just want you to play defense. And I think that would really work for them. He does gamble a lot on the on that side of the ball. But my point is, he just has the ability to recover. And he just shows nothing but defensive potential. Like the defensive potential is through the roof. So I'm eager to see that. But uh, it's just it's the offense. It's really just the offense. Let me know if you're a Texas Longhorn fan. Let me know down in the comment section below what you kind of think of it. Uh, Just because it is really interesting to see. Uh, just, just someone that has so much potential. I have all the faith in the world in him. I want to have. I don't. This is a player I really don't want to see fail. So we'll see. But uh, yeah, just let me know what you think as a Texas Longhorn fan. If anything I said, correct me if I'm wrong about something. Obviously, I haven't seen every Texas game, but I'm just really interested in Dylan Mitchell because I think that he can be a really good player, just in the right position, and he just needs to develop a shot. It doesn't have to be perfect. It just has to. He has to show the willingness to do it, and he just has to hit at a decent clip. And even if he was just more aggressive, if it's just cutting to the basket. That would be enough for him to, you know, put him up the draft board, in my opinion. It's just right now, it's really, if he's wide open, he'll do it. Um, and then it's on fast breaks. But other than that, he's not really trying to put up anything. And it's not like he does anything else extraordinary. Like I said, he's not that much of a ball handler, not that much of a passer. He just, it's really just defense and athleticism, which I can get you somewhere, but it's not, it's not going to get you too far if you don't develop those other skills. But anyway, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.